Hi to all. Today we will do an involute for a given square. Here take the question. Draw an involute of a square of side length 25 mm. The side length of the square is 2.5 cm. So for doing involute, first take one square. So by using instruments, do one square of here I do the square. The side length is 2.5 cm. Here do 90 degrees a line of 2.5 cm. So for taking 90 degrees I am using this set square. So 2.5. Now this side also take 2.5 cm. Now join these two ends. Now this is the square. Give the names for it. A, B, C and D. After doing the square A, B, C, D, just do one line of some length. Okay, at all the sides. At this side one line, at this side one line, at this side one line, at this side one line of some length. Take some length here, just do one line and then take this side, do one line and take this side, do one line of some length and take this side, do one line in this direction. After doing all the lines, so take this B point as P also, also initial point. So from P point, take peripheral length of the square. Okay, how to find peripheral length of the square means length is equal to what is the east side of the square 2.5 cm 2.5 cm into 4 sides it has 1 2 3 4 so it is 10 cm the peripheral length of the square is 10 cm so from p mark 10 cm on this line the help of scale mark 10 cm so give this end point is q point Okay. Now divide this peripheral length that is PQ length into 4 equal divisions. Okay. So as you know PQ is 10 cm. We need to divide into 4 parts. Each part is 2.5 cm. Okay. By using compass. So as you know it is 2.5 cm. Okay. So take the this is the first part. And this is the second one. This is the third one. Now this is the fourth one. Okay. Now give the intersection points 1 dash, this is the 2 dash, this is the 3 dash and this is the 4 dash. Q point is the 4 dash also. Okay. Keep comma here. After dividing PQ into 4 equal divisions, so mark P4 length that is PQ length at this point. So give the name it is P4. This point is P4 whatever length is there. So same length I am marking here it is one of the point. So we have marked a P4 length on the AB. Okay. Now take P3 length in compass. Mark on the second side. Okay. So on BC length, C as center. Do an arc. Just do the a little bigger arc. Okay. Take the intersection point is P3. After marking P3, take next P2 length by using compass. Take the third side of the square DC. Okay. So take this length, P2 length, D as center. Mark on it. Okay. Now take the intersection point is P2. After marking P2, take P1 length by using compass. Mark on this side, fourth side. A as center. Do an arc here up to this P point. Okay, just do like this. Now here take the intersection point is here P1. Okay. Join this P, P1, P2, P3, and Q. Or P4, we will get the involute for this square. Let us do with the freehand curve. Let us join these points. Already we did one curve here. Now do this one. Now join this P2, P3.
join P4, P3. So this is the involute. Here mark the given dimension. Side length of the square is 25 mm and the PQ is peripheral length of the square 100 mm and this curve is called an involute for the given square and involute for circle and hexagon we did videos already. So I will give the video link in description box. Please check it. If you like my teaching videos please press the like button and subscribe my channel and share with your friends. Thank you for watching.